Alrighty, what is going on guys? John D Games here with another tutorial, and um, since my 1.5.2 Pixelmon tutorial, how to make a server, was pretty popular, I figured I would do an updated version and um, show you guys how to do this for 1.6.2. So, let's go ahead and um, get started because some of these things can take a little while to download. All of the links to this tutorial are in the description, and this one... I guarantee there's no, go there's not going to be any of that confusing run.bat files that there were last time. Only if you want to, and only if you want to allocate more memory. So that that'll be later ahead. So let's go ahead and um, go ahead and download some Pixelmon first. Uh, this is the main mod we're going to need for the server, and um, you can add any mods to this, like custom NPCs or really whatever you feel like. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of mods out there for it. And um, at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and download my own map. Yeah. I'm going to do it. And then um, also I'm going to go ahead and download Ford. So a lot of stuff downloaded. And I'm actually going to download the 1.6.2 installer. This version specifically is um, 9.10.0.828. So that's the version I'm using. If there's a more updated version, I would probably recommend using that as well. So, all right, so download my map. That can close out. And then um, let's go ahead, download Pixelmon. Da -da 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 and download, and then wait for the ad fly, da, da, da. I have to wait twice for these, I don't even get this blue screen one, it's not even advertising anything, and I don't even have ad blocker on, it's weird, um, ch -ch -ch -ch. the things I think about when stuff downloads, download this, um, that's, the, yep, that's the mod, and then, um, uh, this is waiting, I'm not, it's paused, come on, see, I, I'm even looking at your freaking annoying games that I'm never going to play, Come on. Okay, so that's everything we need. We only need those three servers or those three files, and um, now I just need to wait for them to download it. Looks like my internet might have derped out, but okay, yeah, they're they're going now. And now what we can do is um, actually uh, set up a folder. I'm just going to set mine up on the desktop, so it's very easy to find. Put some on server, and um, I'm also going to just create a file straight from the get-go. Underscore install files. All right, and then um, this is just going to this is just going to hold all of these files, so I don't really get them confused. So I'm just going to drag them in from Chrome, and um, I'm going to extract this right here. I'm going to extract the map and um, extract all. Yep. Okay, so it'll extract them locally, and then um, also I'm going to go ahead and run the Forge installer while Pixelmon finishes up. And now what you want to do is you want to um, go down to install server, and then you want to hit the little three dots down there, and you want to actually look for where your stuff is. You want to look for where your server is. And uh, mine's on the desktop, so I'm just going to select my Pixelmon server folder, open that, and then um, just hit OK. It'll say there's stuff in the directory. Yeah, I know. And now what it's doing is it's downloading Minecraft Essential stuff. So you see that there is the vanilla server right there, and then it's installing the standard Forge library files. It's all doing pretty good. And then right here we have what we're going to be running. But not before we actually get some stuff um, We get some stuff going. So I don't want to, um, straight from the get-go, generate a new world, but if you do, this is just the time to go ahead and click this. Um, if you do want to actually use my map, though, um, I'm just going to take the extracted files from that, make a new folder in the actual server folder, and then just um, name it world. And then by default, this is what's going to be loaded up. So paste those into there. You take so long. Okay, there we go. I was about to say it's it's not supposed to go that slow. And then um, yeah, Pixelmon, uh, 62 megabytes out of 80. Okay, so um, gonna need that to start the server. So let's go ahead and um, just go ahead and um, create our bat file now, because uh, this is actually something that you don't have to do anymore. It's just recommended if you do want to allocate more memory. And I am going to show you two different methods of doing this, because I know the method that I just said last time wasn't really uh, wasn't really all to it so what you want to do um, I just create a standard run.txt file and then I open that up in notepad and then uh, this isn't like any fancy notepad program or whatever um, what I want to do is I'm going to um, link to this in the uh, I'm going to link to this in the, the description this is basically just what's on the minecraft download page on minecraft.net and you're able to um, actually find your 
your little batch stuff right here. And then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and uh, paste it into here. And um, here's where you can actually do things multiple ways. Well, first, this is what you need to do. You need to copy this right here. This is what you're going to be running. You want to go ahead and copy this navigation or this file right here. I would just leave it unnamed and that's just less confusion and then paste it over the minecraft server jar right there and then um, what you also want to do um, if if you um, try saving this and um, it doesn't work for whatever reason it just closes out um, by the way what I'm doing right now is I'm just um, saving it as I went to um, all files and then I'm deleting the txt and putting in bat bat run dot batch file and then um, what it's going to do is it's going to come up and then it'll actually start launching the server but I don't want it to be doing that right now um, it doesn't have any mods in it installed right now so I'm just going to leave it be um, and also I heard a lot of people um, for that it did crash out um, this is an alternative way to um, actually get it going so what I did um, let me just go back to my C drive I was actually looking for my Java ahead of time so I know where it would be um, um, if you go to, I, I'm pretty sure this could differ for all computers, so I would look through both program files x84 or x86 and um, program files. So mine is definitely in x86, and then it's in Java, JRE7, and then um, bin. So my Java file is actually going to be in this folder. It's right here, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the navigation. What you can do as an alternative, um, if for some reason it doesn't recognize Java for some reason, um, you guys can just paste in the navigation in quotations and then um, backslash java.exe backslash or no not backslash end quotation, and then that is going to make it so it pretty much has no choice but to find your Java if you manually navigate to it because I'm pretty sure the um, just if you put Java at the front it's only going to apply for people who have Java 7 installed and I don't know how common that is I know a lot of comments on the last tutorial was about that so I just wanted to address that and now Pixelmon should actually be installed hooray okay so let's go ahead drag that into the installed and then um, we can go ahead extract now we wait for this, and then, um, yeah, um, let's see, what else do I need to mention? Um, the bat file, I took care of that, um, let, okay, let's go ahead and, um, copy this in. So you just want to copy these folders into the exact same place as your run.bat, your world folder, your mods, everything. Um, right here, this has the Pixelmon installed, and then it has some standard database files that Pixelmon uses. And now what you can do, you can either, um, just for the sake of showing you, I already showed you the run.bat works. Um, I'm going to show you what it happens if you just launch this. So if you just uh, right-click Minecraft Forge Universal, it's actually going to bring up the vanilla GUI, and it's going to just do its thing right now. It'll pop up in a second. And um, right now, it's just downloading stuff, and it's just working through the motions, and it's just actually setting up everything, and it, it'll work. Okay, so, um, yep, there we are, and then... Yeah, like I said, this doesn't have a whole lot of memory to it, so I would definitely recommend you trying to allocate some more if it takes a little more troubleshooting. I think it'll be worth it, because a lot of servers do run better with memory. That's one of the big things they upgrade, like next to CPU power. And so um, that's just kind of why you would want to do that. And now we have um, now we have the Pixelmon server up. Fantastic. And then um, if we actually launch Minecraft, it is going to be doing that. Let's go ahead and show you how to actually get people on. It. So the way that I would recommend, the way that I normally do it, is through Hamachi because it seems to be very reliable. I don't think I have a, I don't think I have a static IP. I think mine's a dynamic, and I don't really know how to change it. But um, I would honestly recommend Hamachi. It was it's pretty easy. It's really pretty easy, and um, if people join your network, that'll be good. Or you could put this on a self-hosted server, like. Um, just on one of the multi-craft hosts or whatever and um, you can actually host it via that it's pretty easy and then um, also you could do um, a lot of port forwarding stuff um, those are just three ways that you could host a Pixelmon server um, I'm not even going to get into port forwarding because it is pretty bad it's not all that good so um, yeah that's pretty much it um, I hope you guys enjoy your Pixelmon server and um, yeah I will see you guys next time.